This is literally like a free half a million diamonds profit. I can just instantly go sell this for 2.9. What is going on everybody? I'm back making another video and in today's video we're doing Dog at a Titanic day number three. In my last video I thought that I explained to everybody that yes I'm gonna be showing my username every video because I have to change it every video as well. People kept saying you leaked your username again, change your display name, blur it out. Like my username and my display name are on the leaderboards right next to the auctions in the trading plaza. Plus my username and my display name are on my booth. Plus my username's in chat every time I talk, my username's up here. Like I I'm just gonna have to switch accounts every episode. Even if I somehow blurred my username completely all the way, people would go and track down every single person that I traded during the video and figure out my username anyways. So there's absolutely no way for me to hide my username. I'm changing every video for all the people that were still confused. Okay, so let me trade all of my stuff from my account from the second episode, and we gotta go in Rebirth again. Okay, that should be everything from my account on the second episode. Once we got this huge pet, that is pretty much where we ended the episode off. So yeah, time to leave on that other account. I don't really have to use it ever again. And I'll see you guys again in a minute once I Rebirth. All right, finally, it's time to Rebirth. I decided to rank up to rank two as well so that I have a hoverboard. It was a little bit annoying not having a hoverboard in yesterday's video. Video. Well, not yesterday's video, but the previous Donkey to Titanic video. Nice. We got almost 11k diamonds for free as well. All right, let's go into the trading plaza. We got a huge pet to start off day number three. And also, you get a free ticket. Make sure you always claim your free ticket. That's another 30k diamonds that I can just instantly go and sell. All right, here we are. Let's try to find a decent deal for our huge pet. I want to see if I can trade somebody and get like two happy rocks for it. Because it is way, way more rare than Happy Rocks, but for whatever reason, the wrap is like the same as a Happy Rock, even though it has 30k exist and Happy Rocks are like half a million. So yeah, hopefully we can find somebody that doesn't care about the wrap and maybe we could get two Happy Rocks for this. And then obviously we can go sell the two Happy Rocks for diamonds and try to find an even better huge than this to go buy. All right, I'll see you guys again in a minute when I can find a trade. Also, let me sell my spinny ticket. Oh, I got a TNT crate also. Let me sell this for like 9k and I'll sell my ticket for like 29k just to get rid of them quick. And then I'll also put my huge enchanted deer up for like 3 million. Considering I got it for like 1.6 million worth of stuff. If I could get 3 million, that would be a huge win. But if I don't, I'm mainly going to try to trade it for a couple happy rocks or golden hell rocks or something if I can. Free rewards? All right. Okay, my TNT just sold for 9k and my gift bag sold for 2.5 and the medium Christmas present sold. I guess let me sell my small Christmas presents that I also got. And then we really got to trade the huge. I just wanted to get rid of this small stuff to have a little bit of extra diamonds. All right, I just had a few TNT sell for 5k. Oh, there goes the Christmas presents. Literally just selling all these small items real quick because I don't really need them. All right, everybody, I think I'm going to take this trade. Oh, wait. All right, I'm going to just take this because I actually got a good deal on the Enchanted Deer and the Happy Rock literally has more wrap. And even though I know rap isn't that accurate, the enchanted deer is way more rare. I think it's fine because we literally got that enchanted deer for pretty cheap. We got lucky finding somebody that gave us that. Let me try to get full price for this happy rock and then find another one for under 2 million. And I can just keep flipping happy rocks until I find a way better huge for cheap. But people aren't going to overpay much for Enchanted Deer. I, I need to find a way better huge to actually get like multiple Happy Rocks for it or something. So let me just keep flipping, getting my value up a little bit. And then hopefully we can find a good huge that's not too much more expensive than a Happy Rock. All right, this dude just said 90k for Storm Dominus. So I put it up for 90k and it sold. Let me try to sell all this stuff and then maybe I can find a really rare huge in somebody's booth for cheap if we're lucky. All right, my spinny wheel ticket finally sold. This dude's saying 2 million for huge. Eh, 
I'll put it up for 2.05 million. Oh wait, it doesn't let me do that. You gotta type it in manually. Oh dang, that sold quick, 2.05 million. All right, we're about to have a pretty good amount of gems. I just need to find a good pet that's better than an enchanted deer. And yeah, then we already got our first win pretty much. Well, we gotta get rid of these first so we actually have enough gems to find something decent. Three more exclusives, and then it's time to find a good huge. All right, I went to go use the restroom real quick. I came back. My two hologram sharks sold. If I can sell this one last thing, I'll have over two and a half million diamonds. And then I should be able to find something decent. All right, everybody, we're getting a huge Easter Dominus for 1.9 million gems and pretty much no ads. Now, let's see if we can get another Hellrock and ads for this. And then we can sell the Hellrock for over two million. Or I keep saying Hellrock. Happy Rock, Hell Rock, they're pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna get another Happy Rock or Hell Rock and some ads for this, and then sell the rock for over 2 million, and then keep all the ads and the over 2 million, and then we might have enough for almost two huges. And we literally just started a minute ago at one huge. I'm telling you guys, the farther along you get, the easier the profit gets. Once I get to five or six huges, I'm probably gonna be able to make like almost a huge pet every trade. Once I get to like 50 huges, I'll probably be making making huge trades and profiting multiple huge pets per trade. So yeah, we just got to keep working up. I'll see you guys again in a minute. All right, everybody, we're giving the huge Easter Dominus for a happy rock, 200k gems, and a couple of charm. That is some easy profit. Free 200k gems, free couple of charms, and then another free 200k gems, because I can go sell this for like 2.1. And the pet that I got previously, the huge Easter Dominus, I only paid 1.9. So yeah, that's like half a million diamonds profit from that one trade. Now let me sell this rock for like 2.06 million or so. It's got a bonus charm on it actually, so I'm, I might actually raise the price a little, but either way we're making good profit. Once I sell this, I can go get an even better huge and then flip that for some happy rocks as well. I I'm gonna just keep repeating this process until I have like four or five huges or something by the end of the episode. Also, I'm gonna sell these charm. These charms can get a pretty good amount. And if they don't sell, I can just use them as ads later, just like this exclusive. I don't have to sell everything. I can just use them as ads as well. This dude's trying to give some Titanic presents and a couple large presents for my Happy Rock, and I'm not sure it's worth it. He's saying that the Titanic presents get a million, or at least 950k, but I've literally seen them in booths for 850k not selling to today. So I don't know. He's giving me a pretty good amount of ads. Let me see if he can add some gems also, because I, I, I just got a feeling it's going to be kind of hard to get rid of these titanic presents. But I could probably find somebody that would give me a happy rock for just the presents. So if I can, this might be a W. If I can find somebody that'll give me a happy rock for two of these presents, then I get all this other stuff for free. So I, I, I think it'll be a pretty decent trade. I just don't know how hard it's going to be to actually get a huge pet with these, but we'll see. Let's try to offer. All right, let's see exactly what we can get. All right, my cosmic dragon just sold. 94k, not bad. Oh, my two large Christmas presents just sold for 60k. Let me see if I can offer the titanics for this hell rock. Oh wait, how do I still have... Oh, okay. I was about to say, how do I still have these? It didn't let me add them in. Oh, my three spinny wheel tickets also just sold for 88k. I just need to try to get a happy rock for these titanic Christmas presents. It probably wasn't the best trade I ever made getting these. All right, my small presents sold for 6k. I really got to get rid of these titanic presents. I feel like I made a small mistake here. If I take a little L on them, it's fine. Yeah, this guy's got his up for 800k and it's not selling. Yikes. Probably not the best trade ever, but it's okay. We're going to make plenty of profit this episode. I'm not ending the episode until I have at least like three huge pets. Gotta at least have like three or four or something. Oh, my four diamond four books just sold for 120k. Nice. For some reason, it just says 120 in chat. It cut the K off. I promise I put them up for 120. We still got to get rid of these gifts here. All right, I found somebody that wants Titanic presents, and he's giving a pretty good amount. And I actually think I didn't even take an L on these. I almost did because I could have not gotten lucky and gotten this trade. I could have easily taken an L, but I actually think I got a win on that. 
because now we have over 3 million gems. And plus, I got all this other stuff. I sold these for 120k. I sold these for like 50 or 60k. I got 55k gems extra. I sold the spinny wheel tickets for almost 90k. So I actually kind of made profit. And now I can just go buy another huge happy rock for like 2 million. Not bad. Not bad. 3 million gems? I'd say we're doing pretty good. I just really hope I can find a pretty rare huge that's under 3 million. Actually, I'm gonna bid on this egg up here because I saw a few of these sell for like 750k earlier. Some people are just overpaying like wild for them because they're brand new. All right, I'll bid 555. I think that's the highest I'll go. If I can get this for 555, I'm happy with it because I can go sell it for at least 650. Ooh, 570. Yeah, I, I think I'll just leave it alone. I really need to find a huge pet. All right, Golden Hellrock for 2.1 million. The wrap is 2.22 and it has a bonus charm. So I should be able to make at least 100K off this. Not the biggest trade ever, but I don't really know exactly what else to look for. All right, well, the Golden Hellrock already sold. There's a free 120K gems. I knew that was a decent trade. Not much profit, but at least it was quick. I was able to sell that in like two minutes. Dude, look at this huge Titanic, or huge Titanic. Dude, what am I talking about? This huge pet in the auction, it's way under the wrap and nobody's bid on it. I think I'm gonna get this. This is literally like a free half a million diamonds profit. I can just instantly go sell this for 2.9. Let's go. Dude, that's so free. A 12K exist huge pet for barely, barely more than I sold a golden hell rock for a second ago. Let's go. What a win. That's my best auction snipe in this game yet. We can literally just go sell this for like five or 600K more. I'm gonna just buy some of these stat pets cause I'm gonna need them every single time I make a new episode and have to restart. So I guess I got some better stat pets now that'll help me out for next episode. This dude's really eyeballing my pet here. You wanna buy it? Or are you just gonna stare at it all day? Whoa, I was just in the middle of trying to trade away my huge mosaic griffin, and then I canceled the trade while the dude unlocked his pets and it sold. All right, well, we got 3 million for that when we paid like 2.35 or something. There's a nice 650k profit. Aw, oh, dang, this guy changed his mind. I was about to get a happy rock and all these exclusives for 2.4 mil. Well, we got almost enough gems for two huge pets. All right, everybody, I'm getting a golden huge doodle fairy for 3 million. It's actually a pretty rare pet to get for the wrap. That was a pretty good deal. I hadn't to negotiate with him for a little while. He wanted like 3.6 million. But yeah, if I can get a pretty good overpay for this, if I can get literally anything over 3 million, then that's a W. Dang, my last trade was 53 minutes ago. These episodes take a while to find good deals sometime. But yeah, this pet, the regular version is 2.4 million on my value list, 123demands.com. And the gold doesn't even have a value yet. So, I mean, I'm guessing it's quite a bit more than 2.4 million. Only 3k exist, and a lot of good pets like this get a lot more than the wrap. So hopefully I can get at least three and a half. But yeah, pretty good win, most likely, because I'm pretty sure I can get quite a bit more than the wrap. All right, now we just got to sell this, and we should have enough for two huge pets. Maybe I could just go get two huge pets for this, and then I'll have 700k gems and two huge pets. All right, I'll be back again in a minute when I find something. All right, we're giving the Golden Doodle Fairy and 150k gems for two happy rocks. That's literally a million gems profit. I can go and sell both of these for over 2 million right now and we'll nearly have 5 million gems. We're doing pretty good so far. Wait, what is this? Rainbow Exotic Shiva. I've never even seen this pet. Okay, I might actually just hold on to these unless I can get a good offer for both of them. Or I could just sell them in the booth. I, I, I want to end the episode off with huge pets. I obviously don't want to end the episode off with diamonds because diamonds are always inflating and pets are obviously always getting better. So yeah, I might just hold on to these unless I get a good offer, but I could also just sell them both and then try to find a really good huge with all the diamonds. I'll, I'll just see if I can get any good offers first. I'll be back again in a minute when I find something. Dang, do Happy Rocks really sell that quick? I said selling Happy Rocks under 2.2 million and somebody instantly bought one of them. All right, let me say selling Happy Rocks under 2.15 million. Let's see if somebody buys this other one. And then we'll almost have 5 million diamonds, which I will use to go find a really good huge.
huge, and then hopefully we can flip a really good huge for a few happy rocks again and make more profit. Who just traded me? Here, let me... Oh, he's in a trade. All right, let, yeah, let me just try to sell this other happy rock. I'm still making a ton of profit. I'm getting like 4.3 million for both of them, and the pet that I gave for them, I only gave 3 million for this. So yeah, that's quite a bit of profit. Wait, is this bugged? Why does it say that I sent nothing and he received this pet and the gem? I sent the gem and got the pet. I don't know why it says I sent nothing and received both. Same down here. <laughs> like what? Also, I really wish it showed somewhere all of your trading booth history. It used to show your trading booth history in the in the trade history. Hey, we just found a 2 million hell rock, or a um, 2 million happy rock. We just sold one of ours for 2.14, so I guess 140k gems profit, I'll take it. Huge strawberry corgi. Oh, this is the new pet. I was about to say, what is that? Okay, okay. We could just keep flipping these hell rocks over and over like we just did until we have enough for a third hell rock, but I kind of want to find something good again to get a lot more profit. Okay, I'm in the middle of doing a trade, and one of the happy rocks just sold while I was in the middle of doing this trade. This is a pretty good offer. I think I'm gonna do this. Just look how much I'm getting. These extra large Christmas presents can get like at least 150k each. Plus he gave me five charms. I forgot that I even had these charms from earlier. I never sold these. I just completely forgot about them. But yeah, 1.4 million. And then these can get like 150k each. So we're at 2.15 million. And then all these charms and these keys. Dang. I got like almost two and a half million for this happy rock. That's pretty good. I'm just debating, should I sell these extra large Christmas presents individually or should I go and make a Titanic present? I don't know. I'm going to just start selling some of this stuff. I forgot that I had these other charms from earlier. I'm going to try to sell all these charms, sell these Christmas presents, and then I'll have well over 5 million gems. We can almost get three huge bets. We're almost there. All right. Well, we're already selling two of the presents for 150k each. Now we just got to sell the other three. And obviously these charms charms three presents 450k and then let's start selling these charms strength charm is like 200k i'll just put it at 199 to see if it can sell a little bit quicker also this guy's trading me again that i just traded let me see if he wants to buy more yeah i don't know why people buy the lower tier presents for so much more like people aren't doing the math or something someone just bought a large christmas present for 500k Five large Christmas presents makes an extra large, so that'd be 250k. And then 250k times five for a Titanic present, that's 1.25 million. So if you're paying 50k for a large Christmas present, you're pretty much paying 1.25 million for a Titanic present. Like, yeah, this guy's just selling a bunch of them. So I guess if you want some profit, if you're gonna sell your presents, I guess don't combine them because people just buy up the lower tier ones without doing the math of how many you need for a high tier one. That's kind of crazy. This dude's literally just selling large presents for 50k. If he would have combined those into Titanic presents, he wouldn't be getting that much. All right, let me sell the rest of my charms and my presents, and then we'll go find a really good huge. All right, we just sold an extra large present for 150k. Let's see if we can sell the rest of these. All right, sold another present. Let me put the last one up. I also forgot about these crystal keys. We got to sell these too. To be honest, I should have just bought the huge Mrs. Claus right next to me for 2.7 million. I could probably get like 3 million for that pet, but it's what Whatever. I want to just sell the rest of this stuff first, and then we'll find something better to buy. I just want to have as many diamonds as possible in case I find something really good for like 5 million or 5.2 million, and then I can't afford it if I don't sell this stuff. Also, one more thing that sucks about switching accounts every episode is that I'm permanently stuck with four booth slots, unless I want to waste diamonds on getting some booth slot vouchers every episode. That's a little bit unfortunate, but hey, once we have tons of huge in a few episodes we have like tens of millions of diamonds in value maybe it won't be that big of a deal to just drop a couple hundred thousand on a few booth slots every episode just if we need it it would be nice to be able to sell more than four things at a time oh i walked away for like two minutes the extra large christmas present sold for 149k we're over 5 million diamonds now and we still have to sell these keys and these charms and then also these charms wait hold on this dude's got a glittering charm for 300k that's worth way more than 
than 300k and he's got a bonus charm for 350k. I'm not sure if this guy knows what anything's worth. 300k glittering charm? I'm literally gonna buy that. It's like 700k. Don't mind if I do. Let me put this glittering charm up for like 550k just to see if it can sell. Make a quick quarter mil profit off of that. Bro, who is buying extra large presents for 300k? That's insane. That's actually crazy. Paying 300k for an extra large present is like paying 1.5 million for a Titanic present. And a Titanic present doesn't even get a mill. Why do people buy the lower tier presents for so much? Like the lower tier ones aren't good. <laughs> That's crazy. My two keys just sold a minute ago. I was AFK for like half an hour. I went and got something to eat. So I'm not on the same server anymore, but I'll show the clip in editing. They sold like right after I left and then I ended up getting disconnected. But yeah, we still got to sell these charms. But once we do, we'll have nearly 6 million diamonds. All right, we just sold an agility charm. Still got to sell the other two. All right, I found a huge ninja axolotl and it's actually under the wrap. I'm going to buy that. This is a pretty good pet. Only 6k exist and I got it for under the wrap. Usually stuff is quite a bit more than the wrap. So that's actually probably a big win. And stuff like the Ninja Axo and the Bread Sheba used to be permanent pets. But now they're going to be limited because you're not going to be able to transfer stuff from Pets MX much longer. And obviously nobody's going and hatching the Ninja Axolotl egg back in Pets MX anymore. So this is actually like a good limited huge with 6k exist. And I got it for under the wrap that's gotta be a big win all right i'm gonna find a little bit more stuff to buy and then i think we're gonna be just about done with the episode let me just find a few more things to buy and we'll do the outro because there's no way that this isn't worth like at least three happy rocks 6k exist plus i still got all these charms and all these diamonds like i practically have three huge pets worth of value and i actually kind of don't want to just hold like three happy rocks in case they start going down and all all the really good huges start going up a bunch because to be honest happy rocks and hell rocks are super overrated right now so i'd rather just have a really good huge and some other good items to hold on to so yeah let me spend the rest of my diamonds let me find a few more things to buy and then i think we're gonna end the episode there we've made quite a bit of profit so far but l let me quit talking like it's the end of the episode it's not the end of the episode yet let me go find some more stuff real quick Two crystal keys for 80k? That's a pretty good deal. 40k for each? I see them sell for 65 and 70k all the time. I'll take a couple keys for 40k each. Especially since there's a huge in the crystal key chest. Like, those keys are actually worth quite a bit now. All right, we just won an exclusive fruit egg for 505k. I'm gonna just hold on to this as well, even though, yeah, actually, I'll just hold on to it. I don't think it's really gonna drop because it just came out, and it's still gonna be pretty new in, like, a day and a half when I start on the next Dog at a Titanic episode. Wait, 490 and nobody's bidding on it? I could have got a little bit of a better deal. All right, I'd say that's a pretty good episode. I'll just keep a little bit of gems, 180k is not all that much. We got a huge ninja axolotl that we should be able to get at least two hell rocks and some good ads for. And then we got a couple crystal keys. We got an exclusive fruit egg. And then we still got all these really good charms. So yeah, I'd say that we have at least three huge huge pets worth of stuff. Probably more like three and a half. So yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good episode. We only had one huge pet at the very beginning of this episode, and now we have the value of over three. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Sorry if this episode's a little bit short. I mean, it might not be short. I've been recording for over six hours, but I just feel like I didn't do that many trades. But if the episode is a little bit short, I'm sorry. I gotta get this video up and ready by a certain time today. But do not worry. Every single episode's going to get better and better. We're gonna start getting some really big flips and getting like an entire huge pet or two huge pets profit extremely soon. The trades are just gonna get bigger and bigger and we're gonna just start making more and more profit as we go on. But yeah, like I said, I hope you guys are enjoying this series and I hope you enjoyed this particular episode. If you did, hit the like button, comment some ideas for more future videos down below and subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you all in the next one very soon. Peace out everybody.